What's the crack, lads? And welcome back. We've got another player pack review. This time we're taking a look at Netherlands, which is the national team selection today, the 24th of November, along with Spain. So we'll have Spain up later on or else maybe tomorrow just to spread them out a bit. I mean, look, lads, there's lots of packs to get through. And a lot of you are asking me my advice and recommendations on who to buy. It depends your squad. There's a lot of different factors. But just usually the way I review these is pound for pound. I've played with practically every player on this uh, in some shape, way, or form. And obviously, you just take a look at the stats. You take a look at what actually works for their card and what actually works for them as a player if you are going to be playing with them in your squad or in your tactics. Um, you know, this Netherlands pack, I think it's fairly decent. It is a little hit or miss. I think that there's some very good players there. But I think Van Dijk is probably the pick of them. Um, also, one of my favorite players, uh, Burge House, is, is a fantastic winger. Uh, Burge Wine is, is a good player as well on the left. And then you've got Frankie de Jong, you've got Dumfries, you've got Klassen, you've got Depay, you've got De Ligt. You've got a lot of, of nice players that you can train up, especially if you're a, a Dutch fan. Um, you know, are you you uh, you just support a lot of these players or you're looking to improve your squad with Van Dijk or something like that, right? So <clears throat> we are actually going to start with Van Dijk who we take a look at here. Um, Van Dijk is one of definitely one of the best uh, center, center backs in the game, I would say. Uh, I definitely love playing with him. He's, he's prone to the odd mistake. I will say that he is prone to the odd mistake. Uh, I find that his, you know, his, his ball control, I'm still going to do the video on that of why I think ball control now is very, very important. Uh, it's, it's, it's all about kind of their first touch and being able to be solid on the ball. But yeah, you've got 16 levels with this guy. Obviously, there's different versions of him. We had this version here uh, from the Liverpool pack. We have a standard card, which goes to 16 versions as well. So they're very similar, very well balanced. The only thing different between his standard card and uh, this national team card is his physical contact and curl, which you don't really need. And then there was also the other one here. This was the other version of him that released in one of the packs, and that's got 16 levels. So genuinely lads you could buy this standard one and all you're going to be missing out on is minus two on physical contact and then obviously the team play style which is a big one as well but if you are playing quick counter there's no difference between these cards now this card does have insane stats and if you look at it, how we train him up i think 92 defensive awareness uh is probably enough but then the aggression isn't that high so i would probably boost that up to seven just to get that up past the 80 uh mark and then you're going to be talking about his speed you don't need to focus too much on speed i would either put two into that or else i would just leave it completely but you do want to have an aerial ability um van dyke you want somebody that's able to win the ball in the air and also you want to be able to kind of have a little bit on his ball control like maybe 65 just that alone will be a little bit of a difference on this card obviously you are you know going to be tempted to pump everything into defense and just obviously get the best possible card but yeah i would definitely factor in a lot of the stuff here to turn him into the best possible card that he can go into like a 95 overall uh center back is not to be sneezed at he's got nice speed nice jump nice physical contact and then his defensive stats they, i mean they are what they are they say what you need to say so this is the finalized version of him that we're looking at here we're talking about this one here 95 overall you've got the very nice stats as i just explained there um and again a very fantastic player the pie is a bit of an interesting one right you can train him up in a lot of different ways obviously you're going to be kind of training him up as a kind of on the ball uh player he's not going to be aerial you know threat or anything like that he does have some nice player skills he has gone on wavering form he does have nice speed and acceleration but yeah he's i think he's definitely a miss man i think the pie this card of the pie i don't think he's good enough Trust me, I don't think he's good enough because of the fact that like we have a different version of him here that's that's a lot better. I know you can't train him up that much. But I think the biggest thing with this card as a center forward is that there's just so many good pacey center forwards that can finish now that there's nothing in this card that really makes him amazing. You know, if you are going to be having a center forward, yeah, we can get away with maybe the dribble in 80 and ball control 80. But like it's not going to really make a difference to this card too much because his shooting is still going to be locked out at eighty at eighty five or else eighty six depending on how you train him up and we've only got the lower body strength at eighty four which gives his speed and acceleration eighty four so yeah it is it is a bit of a difficult one with the pie um I definitely think if you do buy this pack he is probably going to be like replaced I think I don't think that you would be able to play with him as your main center forward next up we've got De Jong so De Jong is a bit of an unusual player for me lads because I actually got this version of De Jong way back when but the reason why I got him 
with this Barcelona pack was because of his defense, because I was playing him as a, as a center back, right? So the reason I was playing him as a center back was he was 81 overall as a center back. But look at his defensive stats with that card. You're talking about 71 defensive awareness. You're talking about really good speed. And you were also talking about really good tackling. This standard card and this card here that he has, the Netherlands card, are similar to that, are to, similar to his standard card. Or sorry, this Netherlands card is similar to his standard card. Whereas this card here, uh, the Magic Moments one, the Magic, uh, Magic Magicians or whatever it was called, Magic Moments, I'm not too sure what it was. Um, that one is basically the same as this one. So they're kind of linked that way. So yeah, you can't really train this guy up the same way as you would with his, uh, his other version that was on the Barcelona pack, which is a pity, even though it's only got seven levels, you still had a lot there. Yes, you can make him, you know, a beast defensively if you want. If you want to have him as a center back, a ball playing center back, you don't need to touch anything. Like you don't need to touch his ball control, his tight possession, his low pass, literally nothing. You can pump everything into that and you can pump a few into that as well. And then the rest are just, is just speed. You know, you can just have a really, really decent player that can bring the ball out. I think he's probably going to be as close, the closest you're going to get to David Alaba. Obviously the stats aren't going to line up. That's if you want to go defensive. You know, if you want to go defensive, you could leave the aerial ability away and you could actually even go more, more defensive there. But yeah, I think that this card would be a waste to turn him defensive, especially with the other skill set that he has. I'd put six into that. I put six into that, and then I put maybe six into that, and then the rest would go into passing. That's kind of where I would train him up. I'd probably 96 passing, and then I would be thinking about maybe having, maybe Im improve his curl a little bit if you wanted to as a CMF, and then you could also pump in one into that and one into that, turn him into a 95 centre midfielder. But there are better options there than, than him. As I said, let's, I'm going to be doing a video that will really make a lot of what I'm talking about make sense. I'll be comparing Orchestrator to Box to Box. A lot of people ask me for that. We'll go through the Ligt quite quick. The Ligt is kind of, he's kind of fallen away, lads. He used to be one of the best players in eFootball 22. I don't see that many people using him, and I don't really understand why. Because he does have really good stats. Like, forgetting about his acceleration, which we're not going to really focus on. He does have 85 head, um, 87 jump, and then really good defensive stats. But yeah, a lot of people don't use him. I don't know why, to be honest with you. Because you can train him into be an absolute monster. Once you get that aggression up and defensive awareness up. And he's quite tall as well. He's got interception. He's got blocker. Yeah, I think this card could be a little bit OP, to be honest. And I definitely think that he's better than this card here. Uh, because of the aggression just slightly because of the aggression even though he's got less levels it's going to be a practically an identical card um so you can do what you want with that if you do have the barca pack or the Bayern pack already next up we've got the fridge so the same guy um the same as the as the lick you have kind of got the same um issues plus the same you know the same pros and the same cons with this card like he's a small bit taller uh, so you will want to put that aerial ability up, but he's not as quick. You know, you'll have to boost up a couple in there. And also, as well as that, I think the big thing with the Ligt as well is he has bad ball control, whereas this guy has got a little bit better ball control and tight possession, which does make a difference. Trust me, it does make a difference. But again, the defensive stats are really solid apart from the aggression. Next up, as I said, uh, we've already focused on Depay. We've got Burkhaus, one of the, my favorite players to use in eFootball 22. And at the start of PES 2021, I had him as well way back when with my club. Seems like such a distant memory now, but he was a really good player as well. And as with all wingers, lads, you don't need to focus on anything but dribbling and pace. That's all you need. If you are, if you are struggling to you know play wingers like in a good position or you're struggling to to you know beat players or with dribbling or you're not the best dribbler or on the ball touch and go then definitely i would be recommending you guys to use a right and a left midfielder instead but this guy is very decent there are better options than him don't freeze this is what i'm talking about if you guys are struggling right to use a player that's kind of a specialized player such as a right winger I would definitely think about using an all-rounder such as Dumfries, who can get up and down the pitch and that you don't need to worry too much about anything, that you can kind of have a guy that's really defensive, but also really solid across the, across the stats. Like every stat is going to be solid. There's nothing going to be like, you know, amazing, but everything is going to be fairly decent. I would be playing him as either a right back or right mid. I would potentially play him as a right mid because of those attacking stats and that he's able to get up and down the pitch with the speed. But again, he is also a very good defender. Coop Miners, again, this guy, 33 levels, lads. I don't know about him, to be honest. 
I mean, any of these players, when you train them up, can be OP, but it just depends on whether you want to waste, not waste, but use the trainer points because you are going to be limited to certain um, certain stats with them. Like, this guy is not going to be a good passer at all. Like, 84 probably isn't enough. You could take down one from defending or two from defending and put three into passing to bring it up. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. He does have unwavering form. He does have fighting spirit and blocker, so he would be worth a punt as well. Next thing, next up, we've got Bourgeois, who is similar to Birch House, who was there a second ago. Again, we're going to look at the dribbling. We're going to look at dexterity. We're going to look at lower body strength. We're going to get 86 ball control, 88 dribbling, 89 speed, and 90 acceleration with 94 balance. Extremely good card. Definitely worth a punt if you do buy this pack. His standard version is also very, very good. And a nominating contract one was very good. It has a few more levels. Uh, or same level, sorry. And that is a pretty much identical card. I think that card was actually better. The nominating contract card, lads, was better for what you would want from a winger um and then the second last we've got Davy Klassen who scored for Netherlands the other day as you guys remember and this guy's a bit of a bit of an unusual card because he doesn't have the engine but he does have good passing so I would definitely make him more kind of like as a box-to-box -box player even though his stats don't really align to that I wouldn't be training this guy up any other way apart from this maybe just to get his dribbling up but yeah he's one of the weaker cards in the pack and then Sillison, we never really focus too much on the goalies, lads, because I've said enough about goalies. You know, he's not even, if you max out that, you're only going to get 92 reflexes. So there's no point really, in my opinion, doing that because you're still going to have low goalkeeper stats in some of them. I mean, you can get the nominating contract, Jan Summer, and he just absolutely blows away this card or else Navas blows away this card as well. So yeah, lads, that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. That is the Netherlands pack review. Let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip that one. I'll be back later. And let me know if you guys like these long range videos where they're like 11, 12 minutes in depth or where you just want a quicker overview because let me know. All right, lads, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.